Congresswoman Kathy Memorse Rogers made a stop in Spokane today to hear from future doctors. She stopped by Spokane's Teaching Health Center. That's where Crim 2's Shannon Mowdy caught up with her to ask about the crisis facing Washington's health care workers right now. Shannon? Yeah, just last week we saw some pretty startling statistics from some of the state's health care unions, and the Congresswoman agrees we are at a critical point. In a visit to Spokane's Teaching Health Center Wednesday, Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers heard directly from future doctors about what they need. What are the kinds of things that, you know, you see, you said, oh, if I just had the chance to, I would do it. And what the biggest challenges are in health care. Bottom line, we have we have uh, a critical need now for anyone to go into health care. The teaching center is one of 72 across the country that trains physicians in a hospital setting. Residents here say they need more help. It's again going back to the support staff, not just having increased physicians, but increased uh, number of social workers, increased um, pharmacists. A poll released last week found that among nearly 1,200 members of three Washington health care unions, almost half say they'll leave their job in the next few years. What can be done or what is being done at congressional level, mm -hmm. maybe state level, to not only attract people into health care but keep the workers we have? This is a huge issue and, and even before COVID we knew that we had an aging workforce. Short staffing, low pay, and workplace safety were among the top reasons those workers are considering quitting. About 80% of those polled say they're burnt out. Even when you're not looking at your inbox, even when it's a Saturday or Sunday, uh, things are slowly building up and, mm -hmm. and adding on there. That it, the, the work's never truly complete. You're never mm -hmm. ever truly caught up in primary care. Okay. McMorris Rogers says she'll take what she heard back to D.C. to push for more support for health care workers in eastern Washington. The, the need to get, you know, not only continue to fund this program, but to look at how we can expand residencies is going to be top of mind. Now also at today's meeting was Carol Johnson, the administrator for the Health Resources and Services Administration. That's the group that works with Congress to fund and run these medical education programs. Shannon Mowdy, Creme 2 News.